Howdy there, Art here with N Eater Garage, working on an enclosure project for somebody that reached out to me from a YouTube channel. The objective here is not standard, it's making an oversized battery enclosure. What size may you ask? Well, it's 30 inches long, 2 inches deep, and 8 and a half wide to make the enclosure work with the custom deck that is being built for this fella. I had to make this little transitional trim piece to help the enclosure flow onto the deck itself. The rest of the video will go over the process of heating up this PVC plastic sheet that I've already cut yesterday using this heat gun and making it all into an enclosure that's relatively easy to build if you have the heat gun, plastic and some wood. Stay tuned for the outcome. First order of business is securing this PVC sheet to the mold so that it's nice and steady as you apply heat and force to mold it in place, things tend to slide. So I'm going to use some screws and drill it right into the pine piece of wood that I have here. Let's see what happens. Once the things get hot, it is important to be prepared. As the plastic is hot, three to 400 degrees, you're not gonna handle it with your fingers. So piece of wood must be prepped to the proper length and rounding out the corners so it doesn't Another important piece of being prepared for this whole project is having some cool air. Either a fan or compressed air works the best because it is really cool. Why do you need that? Well, once you heat up a part of your enclosure and fold it into place, then you move on to the next part. If this hasn't cooled yet, it's going to try to move and bend itself to be flat again. We don't want that. So have a cool air to cool this part off, move on to the next part. Make sense? Once you get one of the sides positioned and situated the way you like it, cool it so it is stable and secure it with clamps or screws and some pieces of wood possibly as to not mess this alignment up again when you start working on the sides or adjacent pieces. Good so far, got the front and back cinched down. Now for the long sides. Be some trickery involved here, so stay tuned. That's coming up next.
is done and one more left. Forming is finished. It is time to make cuts. So I marked a one inch line all around the enclosure. Camera died while I was sending this enclosure, but this is what you've missed. It got sanded down to 600 P sandpaper. A couple last touches I'm gonna do is fill the little holes that I have created and the seams up here with some hot glue and enclosure is ready. That's a wrap for this enclosure. I'm gonna get this thing packaged up and it's going to West Coast. Bye bye.